Hello, welcome to the Non-Perishable Goods Podcast. No, it's I'm not. very happy to be here. <laughs> me too, me too. I look forward to these moments with you. I'm very happy to be here. <laughs> so, um, you know, I've been wanting to talk about this. Cause I and I know that you were excited to talk about this too. Well, I'm surprised that you're you want to talk about this. I know, I know. but see, it's just a bigger idea that came from such a small situation that I think we could that people could apply to them their own lives, which okay. I you know so because I think it's just it's it's interesting. There's a lot of dynamics going on here. There's a okay. lot of dynamics, and ladies and gentlemen. Drum roll. Maybe I'll put that in post. Who knows? Um, Would you keep the <laughs> drum roll? Right. We're talking about the Kiki Palmer and Darius. Yeah. Well, more so the Usher, her attending the Usher Raymond concert. And for you, for me, we I ride with Darius. Keep it go. Keep going. Okay. Well, of course you do, because you're Mister Red Pill. Oh wait. Is that like secret? Am I not supposed to t- say Redfield? Like, I feel like I'm in the manosphere. <laughs> like, I'm so curious what the manosphere feels. In I this don't moment. feel like I'm red pill, but but I'll take it. But, but this isn't pill. like a red pill situation. It can be. <laughs> it can be perceived as one, but okay. There's a lot of lots of violation. <laughs> lots of violations. Yeah. And you're gonna be, I think you're gonna be surprised at, at my my thoughts and stance on this. How do you want to start it? Well, when did this happen? Um, I believe it was like at least maybe like four or five days ago. Well, I'm surprised it's all over the news. I didn't think it would be this big. This this to me right. like the Jonah Hill situation, like Jonah Hill and his ex. And what they're going through right now, or you know what what she did, um, which I think is preposterous and a red flag. But I get you know, uh, Kiki Palmer went to a Usher concert in in Las Vegas, and yeah. she's you know uh, had a Sierra outfit on, you know, booty, booty butt naked, and uh, Darius was like on Twitter, yeah. like I ain't Russell, I ain't Russell, you know what I'm saying? Like put some respect on my name, and you know talked about the booty cheeks was out because they were. And she's a mom, and uh, you know she she's uh, I get I don't think it was that big of a deal, but you know he she let Usher on him, and she was all over Usher or whatever. And you didn't Usher's think it was engaged, a big deal? You didn't and, think and it was Usher, a big deal? Usher's engaged, by the way. But this is how is this he? is this is the act, though. This is right. You know, he's, he's an entertainer. Right, right, right. Um, right. I don't I don't think Usher did anything bad. I think Kiki did something bad. I was I will say that I'll take that back. I do think it was a big deal. Um. Yeah, it was kind of a big deal. It showed a lot. It showed a lot for sure. Yeah, but but I'm I'm very I'm I'm just surprised that not only by Twitter but Twitter period, and the manosphere and you know a lot of uh, other people all over the manosphere talk about. I'm not really surprised at that because it's just an example of how if you don't you know sit your woman straight or if that is your woman, if you don't put her in line, she's going to you be ain't setting Kiki crazy straight like though. You're not gonna set Kiki straight. Okay, then then you don't you don't make babies with that. You know what I'm saying? So so my so, I mean, do you want me to go into it or you want to say your side? No, no, no. You go. That's good. You're good. Um, okay. I I just did you have more? Go ahead. Go yeah, ahead. I'm I'm not done. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> me. I just want, do you want me? To, I I could go by in steps. You know what I'm saying? I, I could go I'm in like, levels. I'm I just want to. You taking notes? I just. Okay, I, I just wanted to let you let you know. Because I want to nope. like interject. I wanted to interject so many times on so many different Yeah, things. go ahead. But no, 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 go ahead, go ahead. Keep on. You keep can, on. You, you, can, you can interject anytime. It's your show. It's your show too. I know. So that's <laughs> so I'm just, you know, I'm waiting for you to get it all out. Get so it all out. Get it has, all out. My hashtag oh, is my hashtag is right I ride with Darius. Is that really a hashtag right now? No, I just I'm just making oh. it. Up. I, but I but I did make it a hashtag, uh, because my I don't know the situation. Obviously, we don't know any of these people. You know, mm-hmm. um, I didn't even know who Darius. I didn't know Darius was a I guess a, a football dude. Like I didn't even know. You know, I just know he. I he, heard he was just like he's a fitness um, 
fitness coach or ther- yeah, now, a personal tra- personal trainer. Yeah, now I th- I think before he was a football player. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, I think I don't know. I don't. Right, right. That's that's irrelevant, right? Because because yeah. because now like but, be- but kind of kind of it kind of well because now the the thing is oh but she makes all the money she she's the breadwinner and he's he makes less than her that's another uh man, that's fair point ne- yeah never date somebody a woman who makes more than you because she won't respect you no but it's not that but go ahead keep no that, I'm not telling you what I'm telling you what the manosphere is saying yeah I'm telling you, I'm telling I'm giving you the rules of red pill. Right, purple or black, and all that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm, I'm giving you the, the rules of man of the of manosphere. Yeah. Never date a woman who makes more than you. Always make sure that your woman represents you. You, uh, before you impregnate her, you you put her in line. You put her in training. Make sure she doesn't that stuff. She doesn't do any of that stuff. She does, she represents you when she's out, when she's out with her girlfriends and not with you. When she doesn't wear, you know, uh, promiscuous, you know, not promiscuous, but uh provocative things like she, like Kiki did you know what I'm saying like you got to put her in, in line and if you don't have her in line then this this, this is what happens you know what I'm saying and Kiki is so to what I've seen in interviews she's so like masculine like you know there seems like kind of like passive aggressive like I I don't see how I guess opposites attract but I wouldn't me personally like I would never I dated somebody like that, and I'm just—it's just annoying as fuck. Right. You know, I you could put them in line; they could be feminine with you, but then on the outside, be all ghetto. And you gotta—I gotta like, I gotta um, you know, tried you, tried you like a like a child. You know what I mean? Hey, how about not talking so loud? I'm right here. Or why you get? Don't get mad at. Don't get you know angry. Is it's it's okay? It's okay. You know what I'm saying? Like all that that fucking ghetto shit. Like I ain't with that. You know what I'm saying? Like. She's hella Spanish. Really? I see. I don't know much about Kiki, um, but I actually started following her not too long ago just because she is such a strong voice for, you know, the, the, yeah, she has strong gener- voice, all right. The younger generation. Um, voice is strong. The younger generation. Uh, and I like, you know, I like to keep my finger on what's going on with. The younger folks to see see who's going to be in charge of our world when we're elders um yeah we in trouble keep going but yeah we 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 probably are in trouble but i i mean from what i could tell you know she's about her business she's you know she has her podcast she has her acting career i mean she's been in the limelight since she was a child um she's a big you know figure like people love her a lot a lot of people love her and i think even now after her child she is loving herself um because I, she's 29 years old i didn't know that either i thought she might have been a little younger but she's 29 and which is still young um but you know she she just had a baby so her body looks great and like most women who bounce back they want to show their body off there's a thing. The thing with with that, um, is doesn't she look great though? No, she did not. If you, what? I never, I, never, I don't think she's attractive at all. If you, no, um, but I mean that's a personal bias. But I mean her body is is looks good after having a child. Well, it had, can we agree to that? No. Okay. Well, Why? Because she has a her butt small. Any girl with a butt size that like that that wears G strings in public, that's that's fit. I don't know. Whatever. I'm not gonna get into that. But she she looks nice. She looks good. She has a normal, natural body and she looks good after having a child. But go ahead. <laughs> the the thing with the thing with that is I'll give I'll give her props for for staying a certain size. But if they are together, because it because it seems like they're they're not, to you know. Well, the I'm, thing because we don't know much, we don't know much about their relationship. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. She she chooses to keep her relationship private. She's so like let's let's step back a little bit. Like Kiki, um, she was recently the host of Saturday Night Live, and she announced that she was pregnant. 
right? So like the next day, everybody's like, but by who, <laughs> you know? Like you're pregnant, like, you know, so everybody's all in her business. And this was kind of a, a moment where she then, you know, because people are really critical of that situation. It's like, how are you going to announce you have a baby, but we don't know who is by, you know, how social media is and the internet and just public opinion. People want to know because we are living in such a, a social media instant gratification. We, we, we're entitled to know about your whole entire life. And she, you know, she, uh, she, so the next day she shows who the, you know, the father of her child is. And it turns out that they, I think met at a Diddy party, um in 2021 so yes their relationship is fairly young i think through you her know? through his brother or something like that well i'm sure that's how he was there most likely because his brother was on insecure he was one of the guys on the show insecure um so you know they're they're it's, they're hitting that two-year mark in a relationship and they've had a lot happen um in two years if you think about it and you're still learning each other they're still learning who they are and what their boundaries are and you know whatnot but they had a baby you know they they're in a new relationship like it's just a lot and i i was listening to her podcast today and it was with her you know with darius and her mom and her mom it was about you know being in uh relationships when you're in your celebrity or being with and the other person isn't a celebrity but they didn't address any of this usher stuff and they might have recorded the show a while ago but they posted it you know but it was definitely in line but they didn't say like i said they didn't say anything about usher but the mom spoke very highly of him like he was you know they're like kiki and her are good friends they're a great compliment to each other um you know, they sound like they they hit it off clearly. And I think she she really did or does value him and like him as a friend. Because from when I saw the video of what happened, like everybody was kind of on Kiki's side and was like, What? You know, she can wear whatever she wants and da 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 and all this stuff. But I was just kind of like, Well, it's it's more than what she wore for me because like as Darius um see not being there like that's one thing because like he said did you read what he said he you said, know like, what he like the booty cheeks really like both like you're a mother and so this is what he said he said it's the outfit though you a mom yeah. Yeah. he tweeted we live in a generation where a man of of, of the family doesn't want the wife and mother to his kids to showcase booty cheeks to please others and mm -hmm. he gets told how much of a hater he is this is a family this is my family and my representation i have standards and morals to what i believe i rest exactly. my case very good but, very, very but, good but first of all he shouldn't have tweeted any of this you know but but we are we are in a generation where everybody's real life is or not everybody, but a lot of the younger generation, they vote, they're very vocal of their private life online. And so, I mean, I don't necessarily blame him for tweeting this because, I mean, as a man, you're watching this video of Usher and your woman out having a great time together, like a very, sharing a very intimate moment together. And that's a lot for a man to have to take in, you know, and I'm sure his boys to, were- To be fair, brother, that's part of the show. To, right, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he, absolutely. Brings up, he brings up a girl and then he, you know, he does that. Yeah, no, he he's yeah. been, Usher's been at the Park MGM or whatever, uh, or the MGM for the last two years. He's had this residency and I've seen it over and over and over and over again. Yeah. But I don't know why this- situation went viral but i guess it went viral because her man she's showing the booties no 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 because a lot of women are naked and do all that but he at the show absolutely as a guest as a guest absolutely but come on this is what he does he goes to the audience he looks for the stars that are there and he has a moment with them 
You yeah, know? but like every star is just like that. Like except for Lizzo, I haven't are seen there, anybody else do that. Or they're all over him or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like they'll like it. They everybody he makes them feel special, and I'm sure she knew that he was going to come to her, so she was going to show out. Like I already know, as a celebrity, as an actress, as a person who's in the limelight, she's in a role. I'm sure where she's going to act out. She's gonna bottom, do her. She's gonna do her thing. You know what I'm saying? Bottom line, bottom line wait, is, wait, 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 wait. She's gonna do her thing, but he was to me knowing that you're in a relationship. It was it was disrespectful to her, dude. I know they're not married or anything like that, but that's your dude, right? Like she shouldn't have, she shouldn't have been all up on Usher like that. Like there's a moment, you know, she could have held his hand, she could have did everything she did, but to be all up on Usher like that, that was it was a little much. It was a little much. And and Winnie Harlow takes a W because the next the next performance, like he tried to grab her, uh, pull her up, and she was like, no. Yeah, and she that's, sat that's on her how man's you do lap. It. That's how well, you do she, it. Right. If you're in a relationship if you're, and you so respect if, your man and you so respect Kiki your man. Is with him, if with Darius, because and it sounds like uh They are or they aren't. Sounds like they uh, yeah, I don't know. You know what I mean? Because maybe he right. just pissed it out the about about the outfit. You don't do that. I don't care who it is. I don't care if it's your crush. I don't care if it's your like quote unquote, like you know, you get a pass, like you you don't do it. You know what I'm saying? So if they are together or were together, that's totally disrespectful. I'm with you on that. If they're not, then Kiki, that's another thing, right? I mean, I would say I would I would say be more uh I guess uh conservative with the clothes because you now you are a mom. But why does that uh, matter? But why does that matter? Like because, literally, I'm really curious. Because you're this. because you're a mom. I would hate. I would hate to see. Would you hate to see your mom at 29 do that? I wouldn't care. Like I would be like, oh, mama, you I would, look well, bad. Maybe maybe because I'm a guy then. Maybe because it's maybe it's a man male thing. Because the sisterhood is is keeping women uh, single, and making women think that being promiscuous and being provocative is a win, and it's not. But if you go to any store, I just went shopping with my niece at Urban Outfitters for kids' teen clothes. And everything that society sells is like super short, you know, short shorts, short tank top, crop tops, revealing. Um, Does that make whole, it okay? Does it make it okay? Though? It's not okay, but it's- Are it's, you buying that for your kid? Like, you know what I mean? That That's on, that's on the parent. Right. But I'm just saying, you know, even on uh, our level, like there's- clothes that are they're making clothes like this and even yeah, like the trend right. right now and even the trend in celebrity land like or you know at the BET awards every single woman on the red carpet had on a sheer outfit and nothing yeah. and that's just that's how our society is our society is very sexualized and you know we are getting we are more normalizing these types of situations like women aren't as modest anymore well this has, this has been going on for years and especially for award shows we just we just saw sierra do it and russell co-sign and we and, i mean lil kim did it when she came but out see, with the thing pasty is, on the titty but russell like, it, simmons it goes on forever or, not russell simmons russell wilson <laughs> russell wilson <laughs> he was with his wife he was with his russell wife. simmons they have it <laughs> russell simmons <laughs> would have it right right no but wilson i mean the thing with sierra he was right there with her if, yeah, so if that's Darius, why they call him a simp that's why he's just called a simp but but it's wouldn't you if you're with your woman and she's yes. looking good yes and you're with her yes you're you you like that a lot she's, of not, she's not wearing that there's that's that's for me that's not for everybody else to see but see, that's yeah. There's there's men like that as that, well. That, that's that's for like women who need validation, and my validation isn't enough. Me saying you're beautiful isn't enough. That's a problem. If I'm no. a guy, if I'm a guy who lets my girl do that, that means the guy has a problem too. He's weak. He 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 needs to show everybody that look, look who what I well, look what I got. Y'all thought I was a nerd. Look what I got. But see, I see it I, differently. I see it like yeah, mine's bad. Like looking yeah, good. Nope. Like for what? <laughs> Now, now you got other people like, like you know, uh, thinking about your girl and stuff. That's because gross. you know she's not leaving, but you know she's not leaving. No, I I how do point. I know I that? I hear what you're saying. Though. How I do I know that? 
Because how do I know like one guy? How do I know the guy one guy will, her, ain't leaving will, Russell Wilson. will be what how do I know one guy would just be like guy hella Riz? The kids are saying Riz now. Oh. Uh <laughs> that and 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 pulls my girl. Or you know what I'm saying? All these guys are like in her DMs and stuff. Right. But that's you know, trying to shoot the their shadow or whatever. It's like but that yeah, but that comes with as far as celebrities, that comes with the territory. No, it doesn't. But, it doesn't have to. But it they does. choose. They choose to be. They choose it that way because it because sex sales and there's a bunch of other guys who are having fantasies about them. And then when you finally do something to show off a little boob or whatever, then then you're hoping not only do you get empowerment from the women. Oh, you look good. Oh, you just had a kid. Oh, you look. You know, you recover. Your body recovered very well. And then you got the guys like, damn, I want to fuck that. I want to put my dick in there. Like, I wonder what that pussy feel like. You know what I'm saying? And then now See, you got no, two that's sets point. of size that's on true, the pants. That's no, you're right. You're right because that's gross. Like there are men out here, and that's why a lot of cultures do wear um the the hijab, the hijabs and like the, all the garbs and and covered because men have a problem with um. You know, the whole reason they do that is because you don't want to tempt a man or cause him to, as far as religion goes, like, it, you don't want to have, you don't want to be the one to tempt a man, you know? If I'm you saying? dress that, if you show off the cleavage or the butt or the cheeks and all that shit on the legs, like, you want male attention, sex sales. You need validation from other people. No, and because I'm not, what? I'm not, not as if somebody who's like that. Right. But when I, what else like, are you, why are you else are you doing it? But because when I'm feeling good and like even when I'm uh, like losing more weight and more weight, like as things get closer, I'm just telling you right now, like I, it's gonna be fun. Like I'm gonna yeah, because you want the attention. No, because I feel good about myself, and it, um, I'm, I don't. I don't need attention. I don't want attention. I don't want the wrong. Then don't attention. do it. But it's true. You do get the wrong attention. You will probably get the wrong attention for sure. You get every. You get attention. Period. Period. Right. But but. I'm just saying. That's why women who work out, woman, even, even dudes like when they're running around, when they're, you know, just jogging around the city, especially Los Angeles, it's getting hot. The shirt's coming off, showing off. Like, hopefully I get some eyes. Hopefully I get like an agent. Hopefully I get some pussy. No. Like, that's, that's the reason why I'm showing up. Yes, it is, bro. No, uh, it no, is. I don't think so. I don't. I mean, it there's, is. I know it's there's people. All bane. No, it's all no, bane. No, I believe there are people who feel that way, but I'm just thinking for myself. It's just, it would be like, I feel good. I look good. I'm out here. Like, I can wear these cute ass clothes now. Like, I'm going to put it on. Like, I'm going to put it on, period. And so it's, it has nothing to do with wanting people to see me like and that that's not the intention like it's a it's a side effect of what's uh, going to happen it no but for real that's just no. what it is i mean but i hear you there are women who do do this for attention but most people you know after you have a child or you know if you do lose a gang away like you you're gonna wear the little short shorts you're gonna because you can now and you it's look like, good yeah it's like it's like the it's like a, all the guys that it the guys at work who work out, they wear the the the, the extra medium shirts to show off their arms, right? There's a guy who you know he runs all the time, so he sh he wears out his he shows off his legs with his short shorts. You know what I'm saying? So he, they're showing off their work because they're proud of their work. It's yes, vain for it's, themselves. It's, they want no, they want the attention. They like the attention. They're showing off their bodies. But like, like I for said, me, that's for me, funny. like for me, I I had to like. Uh, what do you call it? Come to grips with myself and say, I, I, sh I dress for myself for the attention. Like I want, I feel good in the clothes that I choose, so I can walk proudly, you know, in the mall or at work or whatever. That I know that I'm, I, I look a certain way. Like when so I wear, like when I wear my band shirts, it's for me. Yeah, I like this band, but also I want to let other people know, hey, I listen to this band. It's, 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 it's what we all do. We all do it. We we have to come to grips with that. We are a vain society. We want to. That's why name brands are so hot. Oh, I got off white shoes, or I'm wearing ambush, or I'm no, wearing, I you know, vape or whatever. They're... Like I want people to know, like I have some kind of taste. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I, I agree. That's why Yeezys all... is still expensive. It's still getting popping out here because people need to show up. Uh, Golden Goose, Yeezy, Sacconi, New Balance. Now New Balance is crazy. It's like people wearing these shoes. To, to show people that hey, I had there's a status, certain status I, I uh, that I want to you know uh, emit off of me and bounce back to you and, and and let you know where I am. 
in, in right. life. You know what well, I mean? Well, that's, that's, yeah, I, I, I agree. There are people like that. Otherwise, we'd all just wear rags. Yeah. We'd wear but... tunics. Like, it would right. just be normal. You know what I'm saying? Like, I watched a movie the other day, and then, and the future, uh, the time machine and the future was like 2030. And everybody was wearing the same thing. Like, you know, the uh, collar and a blazer and, and a suit, you know what I'm saying? And everybody's wearing the, yeah, you know, but people the same are gonna, monocolors. Yeah, but people are going to tweak it how they tweak it to fit their, their style well, or their well, fashion. Well, no, no, no. I'm saying this this future was like just the same. And I'm just saying it's not like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, we all we all have a certain style, you know, so there's hippies, there's hypies, there's right for, our, for there's us, punk, for who we are, who we want to, what we, or anybody who are. don't know how to dress, like they're going to, you know, see whatever they see in urban outfitters and grab that. And because they want to, you know, f- feel up to date or hip, especially that like the older, right. There women, are like every time who... I see a 50 year old with it, with like distressed jeans, it pisses me off. Well, there are people out here who are trendy and there are people who just that's that's what they're doing yeah, but for attention. Yeah. Yes, I agree with you. There are lots of people out there like that, but there are also people out here who do things for themselves and yeah. don't give a fuck about anybody else. Like that's just what it is. Mm. So, no, it's it's Agree mm-hmm. disagree. <laughs> okay. But I mean like you can, but that's just what I'm saying. Like Yeah, no. I I, I, don't I, I hear what you say too. Myself, I get that. For myself, uh-huh. there's nothing that I do for myself that uh, I don't think so. That where I want attention. Right. From I hear you, people. but I I think it's a lie. I think we lie to ourselves. No, that's not a lie. I think we do. I, I think we do. I did. I put these on because I like these. Yeah, you like them. Yeah, I'm not saying I'm not saying what you're saying is r- wrong, but in the I'm also saying as well that we do it for the attention as well. Because when we go somewhere, when we wear things that we like and we're proud of, we have we feel more uh, we feel more confident, and we'll and and we, that emits from that energy emits off of us, and you feel more confident. You feel more, you know, not aggressive or anything, but you right know, you because like you but the because world, I you feel want like to. You look good. Yes, because I want to. Not for anybody else, but that's we're gonna. I don't. That's not even about what this podcast is about. <laughs> like we have to get back to get back on track. But um, the what do you call it? But yes, I there's different kind of people in this world. Some are intention seekers, and some do it for themselves. Absolutely, we we we, which is a lot. Okay, um. But so where are we? Where what else was there? There was something else we were talking about that was what uh the booty cheeks, uh them actually together or not. Um yeah, pretty. I guess we gotta it just felt that. like to me like like well like women have a prob has a have problems with guys having boundaries. And it, and let's say they are together. I'm I'm gonna talk like if they are together. If they are together and he has the boundaries, now the sisterhood is is talking shit about him and coming at him because it's like, you know, how dare you do that tweet, you know, yada, yada, yada. Like, you know, she could do what she wants, you know, her body's, you know, fit, whatever. She's had a baby. Kudos to her. Like why, why come down on her? Oh, that's what I was going to ask. Yeah. Why is it such a big deal that just because somebody is a mother, they can't wear revealing clothing? Well, Depending like, on the, the simple word, like why? What is wrong? Like, what's the real reason for that? I don't think I, don't, I think when you be, uh, become a mom, I think I think you should act like one. I think you should, I think you should have more conservative, uh, like lifestyle because now you represent like a child. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to think about the child's going to uh, grow up and see the history of it of him or her her mother. But how would want... they? How would they see that? Because. They have no, started. really. This is real question. This is a real question. Like, well, well like, look what happened to Kim K. Like, her son found the, the a meme of of them making fun of her sex tape when they thought they expunged it, and it, it you can't expunge something if I have it on my hard drive. You know what I mean? So, and then same thing with uh, Amber Rose. Her son was getting made fun of at school because she does OnlyFans now, and then the old one, Pamela Anderson. Her son was getting into fights at school because her mom is in Playboy and showing out the boobies and stuff. And then the sex day with Tommy Lee. So, yes, it does affect the children. So now the Kiki got her booty out. You know what I'm saying? Like, who's going to 
who's who you know how who knows how they're gonna you know what I'm saying people so in 25 thinking, years, like, people people they're don't... gonna find this video yes and they're gonna absolutely. show the child yes and the people child... are still looking at people are still looking see that's the thing you think is funny but it's not <laughs> funny to begin bully at school it's not it's not funny when the kid has to go through that and people don't think about that. They think about themselves and how they feel at the moment. You're a mom now. You got to think about that kid now. You got to think about your reputation. To me, like a lot of women just don't care about their reputation. They're like, oh, I, I got abs now. I got, you know, I'm fit or whatever. And I got to show up my body, you know, because sex sales. It's like, okay, that's that's not cool, man. That's disrespectful to your 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 partner and your family. And, and it should be to yourself, but that means you don't have no respect for yourself. You're just showing out the cakes. Showing off the titties, like it's, it's, it's disgusting. That's that's I don't know. I mean, that's that's just a man's thing, you know what I'm saying? Like we want our women. That's for us. That's for what? that should have been. That's for Darius. That whole outfit, that whole outfit should have just just been for Darius, because she and her feelings and she feeling herself. But that's and she, not... and she and she is a fan of Usher. She want to go she's show off the cheeks. Also, a 29 year old person, a woman, she's a mom. And who went out with all of her friends? A twenty-year-old mom. She she made a decision to have a kid. Now she has to mature. So and, now she has focus to on this kid. Wear turtlenecks and ha- not. I mean, or a t-shirt, or in jeans, or shorts, and be respectful. Yes, she should. She's not. She's gonna do what she wants. But in what how I feel about be you know being a mom. Yes, but of course you know she could do whatever she wants. But I'm just saying my opinion. And what the, what I feel like the mass fair is, is talking that that outfit should have been for Darius. That's not for Ursher and everybody else in that stadium. That's disrespectful. It's it's gross. It's not gross, but it's well. I, well, you same, guys, thing, like, you same thing you like said, it, like you, same thing, you, same thing but you, you say like it. with your stuff. Same thing you say with with your how you dress for yourself and you don't agree. Same thing with this. Like I don't agree. You don't agree is fine. You know what I'm saying? I think it's gross. Yeah, we but, like it for us. But, you, but how is it gross? Because she's a mom. That's gross. She's that's a mom. What, that's what you're she's, saying. She's she has a family. She, uh, she's a woman. She's a 29 year old woman. Uh, a mom now. She has a man. I don't know if she has. A well, man, men just she think is. it's gross. Like this is what this is what men think. Like if they see a woman, they know. I'm she's not representing all men. No man represents all men. Obviously, men are gonna like that. There's some guys who like Kiki. There's some guys who like Rihanna. There's some guys who like Beyonce. We know. Okay, well, that's for. another example. Rihanna, she's naked everywhere. Is that gross? That's gross, right? That's still gross. Hundred percent. It's grosser now because she has a kid. Absolutely. Hundred percent. So it's gross because they're mothers. That's that's what you're they, saying. There should be some. There should be some ounce of dignity to now. Where you you have a responsibility to be an example to uh, your daughter or son, and carry yourself in a certain way. If you're carrying yourself in a sexual way, you're just adding fuel to the fire of the degeneracy that's going on in America and in our society. And it's and it's a downfall. <laughs> you men act like you guys are pilgrims and like. <laughs> no, no, like, I'm not like put seriously. a shiki on or put a uh, hijab on. Or put it or cover up. Uh, uh, I'm just what I'm just. Um, you know what I'm saying? I am saying cover it up. Like just put on a simple ass dress or a shirt or whatever. You can still be feminine. There's a lot but of feminine. Still, but, there's a lot but, of feminine but, women at my job who look feminine and dress conservatively and and fantastic, and they look and they still look and great. It's still right, but it's still gonna turn men on. It's still gonna do the same thing. It's still gonna have the same purpose. Like, no, it's not. Like some men don't know how to control themselves, regardless. Yeah, those are perverts, and we're not talking. We're not. We. I don't represent those men. But I'm just saying, like, no matter what women do, like men are always going to have a problem with it, and that's just. That's not true. And those and those men are sick. Those those are the pervs, and we don't. Those aren't men. Those are those are animals. Those are monsters. Those are thirsty yeah. ass, you know, bitches. Those right. aren't men. But I, I, I'm pretty sure Darius wouldn't have said anything if he was there with her. He wouldn't have had anything to say about the outfit. It sounds like to me, Darius wouldn't approve that whole outfit. He wouldn't what? So it sounds like it sounds like to me from that tweet, from his tweet, that he wouldn't approve of that outfit. So she wouldn't have even worn that if he was there. 
Well, to me, I felt like the bigger issue was that he, he <laughs> that she was all buddy buddy all up on Usher. No, did you hear what you just read it? He said all with the that's what he out. said. That's what he yeah. said. Because that's either that's that's, that's, that's talking it, about the 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 costume that she had on. Right. That's easier to say than oh, I didn't like the fact that you were all up on Usher nope. in that outfit. Nope. That, see, that's the thing. Like women here, you don't see that different. You don't no. see that. No. Do you not see that? No. If, no. If, it's if, the outfit. It's the outfit. And he brought up your mom now, and you're dressing like that? No, come on now. But then there was a picture of him that he posted on Instagram. Oh, and here he we was, go. And he was completely naked, and right. he was just in his drawers. So it's like, why? Was he single? I don't know. Was he single at the time? I don't know what the date is. But if he's he was still single naked. at the time, he's, he's selling himself. He's like, hey, I'm single. But he's a dad. But he's a dad. So why? But, okay, but you don't even know. That's the past, though. Right? But I'm just saying. That's the let's, past let's and he's single. Let's just say he was with her. Let's just say he was with her. Let's just say he had a kid. He posts his ass naked on Instagram, sitting on the bed. He's mm -hmm. like this, completely naked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, what's the difference? He's a dad. Yeah, that's not that's not cool either. So it's like, why would yeah, you but, know what I'm but saying? that, but that, but that's, but that's not the case, though, is it? It is that's the, not case. the case. That's not now, right now. We're talking about present time. We're talking about right now because we yes. don't know when. That, wait, because we don't know when that picture was taken. Somebody just went to the his page. Of course so they did. It wasn't that long to, ago. Because they're trying to make it equal. Right. Well, I'm just. But saying, we're but like, we're not equal. It's you can't you cannot there say is a double standards. There's definitely yes, double exactly. standards. Exactly. You can't. But, I mean, who who. Be. Who? How many people? How many more people are going to strip female strip clubs, com compared to male strip clubs? You know what I'm saying? Like female strip clubs are, are making crazy buku money, right? If we compare the two, so there there's a difference. You can't com you can't compare men and women when it comes to sex. Well, but yes, I agree. If he no did difference. that, if he did there's... that yesterday uh, in in a, in a sexual manner, I I don't agree with that either. But but that oh. but that was the past. You keep when we try to always try to move the goalposts and try to make everything equity. No, no it's not. we're not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just bringing up the facts. Like that's just what it is. Like if you're gonna make a statement of what your your wife and your mom, your a mother of your child is wearing, then you should hold yourself to the same standard. So that just kind of made him look. No, you don't know when. First of all, you don't know when that picture was taken. Right, but that's I'm not gonna dwell on that. But that's just. What happened? There's no argument. There's no. But, that's not a valid argument. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just saying, if if men are saying women shouldn't be naked out in public for public consumption, then they shouldn't either. Exactly. How would you feel if your man did the same thing that she did? That's your man. He's out there, right, but you know, I muscled mean, up. You know, what I'm saying? I know like some people. Off. I know that's fine with me. I don't have no insecurities about that. But the problem and now, with me, now it's the insecurity. It is insecurity. But the problem with me would be shaming. Would it's not shaming? It's facts. The thing is, I would have a problem if my man. Yes, you. You know, you had a pass because it was Beyonce. So you're at a Beyonce concert or a Janet Jackson concert. She calls you up on stage. And you go up there, you know what I'm saying? And she starts, you know, doing all these crazy gyrations on you. And then you start grabbing her body and kissing on her neck and just going all in. Oh, you disrespected me to the max. <laughs> like, that's the problem. I wouldn't Why care if he, was, if he was there naked or had his shirt off and some leather pants on. Like, I'd be like, hey, you look good. But Why is it, why is it insecurity and not a, not a, uh, a boundary? because that i mean you why are you feeling some kind of way about i mean it's fine like there's nothing in, you can't always look at insecurity as a negative connotation like if you you're said it like a, a negative connotation no i'm just saying it's in, you're, insecurity you're, yeah you're and that's what it is he was insecure in that moment if you see your girl you're not there for one you're not yeah. there and your girl is out with 
Usher. Yeah. Like one of the most like famous dudes in the industry. And she's all up on him. I don't think it had nothing to do with it, but keep going. And you're naked all up on him. The man, the woman that you're up all up on every I, night. It, it, is, it doesn't matter who it was up on, but keep going. But um, yeah, whoever. But I'm just saying this in this case, I mean, it, it's Usher. Like that's it's gonna make you feel insecure. You're gonna you're gonna because like if it was just the average Joe, you would be like, oh well, you know, she ain't leaving me for him, but uh, he might she might leave you for Usher. So his it, I feel like his insecurity got the best of him in that moment. But I also think if he was there with her, he would also not have a problem with what went down. I disagree because he because he, he knows what his girl wear. He knows how Kiki is. You knew she was going out with the girls, so That's, you knew how she was gonna be. I give you that. I give you that. If you know your girl is like that, and you and you're not like that, or you feel like it's disrespectful, or you don't you don't like that, then don't get with that. Don't right. even put. Don't. I mean, you could you know have your. But clearly, her, but... he can handle her because Kiki's very sounds like she's very strong minded. She knows what she wants. She runs her life. Sounds like how he she... can or can't. She what? Would you say? She knows how she wants her life. No, so what you say? She what you say? He can't. He she clearly he can handle her. Oh, he, he can. Okay. Yes, there. Like she wouldn't have just if he was a simp or whatever. She wouldn't have been with this guy. She wouldn't have had maybe a child she with likes this it. guy. She likes that. That's possible too. Maybe, she, maybe she's a strong one. She likes she likes weak men. But how is him being? What part of him is? You just said he's insecure. Is is that insecure weak? Is that not weak? Uh, insecurity. I mean, it depends on what level it's of not strong you have. It's what just level? It, it's, a, it's a vulnerable moment. Yeah, it's a vulnerable. It is a weak moment. Right. It so it's a weak, weak moment. moment. Right, but it doesn't mean you're like a simp just because you had a weak moment. His you, just tweet, because of his, one action doesn't his make tweet, you. His tweet. His tweet relinquishes his simp. His simp. Uh. Um, what do you call it? His simp uh, accusation, right? And I because that, that don't sound don't... like a simp to me. A simp wouldn't say that or tweet that. And it sounds like they then aren't they like not following each other anymore? I don't know. I, yeah, I think they're like not following each other anymore and stuff. So that's why I was kind of surprised. Well, probably you because that I mean, podcast, but that, like you said, it might be like a like a, a early one. Yeah, but I mean, they might not. I mean, like I said, this is coming up on their two-year mark. I feel like a lot of relationships, once they hit the two-year mark, it could make or break you. Like, don't make any major decisions in a relationship until after two years. <laughs> I will because say. Because you're, you're still learning people. You're still learning people. You know, maybe she didn't know he was traditional, but I doubt that. She had to have known he's a traditional guy. But something there, something is is in their relationship has not been communicated about what went down because he should have never brought i mean i don't i don't knock him for bringing it to social media because he had a weak moment it's not like he was being and attacked. he put it out there huh it sounds like he was being attacked like he was getting like hashtagged or something in in a tweet right and on twitter right i mean yeah because that's mean, how that's what because at the it. end cause yeah because at the end he's like that, that's it point blank period like that's how I just, that's how I am. And then, because he was like responding to like people on Twitter or something, on Twitter or something. Right. Because I mean, I don't know that's how what it seems. That's what it seems like. Yeah. I don't know how it all started, how it all transpired. Otherwise, like, for me, like I would be, I would tell she get home and be like, man, you just embarrassed me in front of all these people because you weren't there. We supposed to be together. If we're, if they're together. If we're not together, that's on her. Like, I yeah, can't, I, I can't. I, I have no say so. That she's not my girl. Right. And a lot of people were saying, "Oh, well, yeah, that's he. That's not her uh, husband." But no, that's still your matter. man. Yeah, that's, that's still, still your man. man. Like yeah, that's bullshit. Like that's that's. Move, nah. move we're not. We're not being again. that technical. Yeah, it's like we're not. We're not being that technical. So I, I was just kind of like, I hear what you're saying about the whole sisterhood, but the thing is, is that. She's a celebrity. She's way more popular than him. And we are in a society that idol is, is uh, like, it's idolatry. <laughs> like, they're, that it, she could do no wrong. Like, people that are celebs, they can get away with, like, the most 
craziest things. Yeah, the fandom but, is mentally ill. Yeah, absolutely. And so, like, what do you call the sisterhood or whatever? It's it's people that aren't all the way there. Like a lot of these people <laughs> that comment aren't all the way there because hundred percent. Um, it's it's just it's irrational. Like like Kiki was out of line. It's dumb. I'm sorry. I I don't care. I mean, what she had on is like we're in a new age people this is where we're at with it and you already know how i feel about sexuality and pleasure like i it's out of line it's out of control absolutely but for me the biggest problem (laughs) was that she was all up on usher in a relationship like that that that's what that's where i have the problem it was actually i don't have a problem but i'm just saying and if i was in a relationship and my my person was out there disrespecting me like that i would have i would feel some kind of way yes yeah, like childish Gamb- when childish gambino went to party in barbados or J- brazil or whatever and he was like freaking out on the girls like his 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 uh baby mama had, had oh, felt yeah, a, yeah. a certain way Yes, you know I, like, I, don't I would care never, I would never do that. I would never do that. Right. Like, so, the only girl I'm freaking on is my girl. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Which makes it funner and easier because you always have a dance partner. Right. But like, I understand. I with anybody else like that? Yeah, like Kiki, you're a celebrity. You know what I'm saying? Usher's a celebrity. You guys are both acting, but it's it's just it was just a little too much. Real quick, guys with boundaries. Here or not? What's that? It's it cut out. What did you say? Men with boundaries is that is that an insecurity or not? No, everyone should have boundaries. Everyone should have boundaries. And so everyone, if I had a boundary about you not going out wearing sheer clothes, and you do a, it, <laughs> is that a bound? And you, is that a boundary or is that me being controlling or insecure? No, but I mean, a lot of people will say, you know, that's kind of possessive. So that you just have to get with the right woman. You have to know who that woman is that you're getting with. You're not going to exactly. change. You're not going to change anyone. I mean, you, you know can. I have. You can. It's possible. But they're not going to be happy. That if if you're if you're or or, the, or you save them and they are ha- they do get happy. True. That's true too. If they're just on the super wrong track and yeah. you know they need to. St- definitely change their lives Mm -hmm. then yeah but i mean kiki you don't hear about her out here just doing the most like now you do she's had a wholesome she's had a pretty wholesome um career and i mean now that she's had a child i mean i think a lot of women want to be looked at and want to feel good because you know when you birth a baby that's a that's a lot and for your body to bounce back the way that I believe her body has bounced back and she looks great. Um, you're gonna show it off. To so, your man, should to to your man, not to the public. But she went to an Usher concert with all her homegirls. Like that's the so they're having fun. Like could, there's bottom line. That's I mean, there's women if who, she's single, that's cool. If she, she's not, she needs not to cool. know, right, right, right. But she needs to know that if you're in a relationship now, then you know, there you have boundaries. Clearly, right. he has boundaries. Yeah. And you guys might be battling about these boundaries, mm-hmm. but we'll see. We'll see if we see her out again, but she definitely capitalized off of the moment, which I, um, you know, she made t-shirts saying I'm a mother, <laughs> you know, so horrible. That, horrible. Uh, it, it, it's definitely going to create a movement. It's going to create a new dialogue. Horrible. And I, I think a lot of women will understand this, this is a de- this, this is man's a de- perspective. This is the degeneracy of our society, and this is what this is the problem. Yeah, we we definitely have uh, no morals, and sexuality is just normalized. It's definitely normalized in our society. In this is, every this will be area. our downfall. Uh, just one of them. <laughs> yeah, just, lot, yeah, exactly. There's a lot of c- concurrent downfalls in our society. Anyway, I just in like American to say, society. I would just like to say, or Western society. Yeah. I would like to say, um, I ride with Darius. If Darius, it sounds like he's a he's a a, a red pill guy, and that tweet says it all. And unless he's just fronting and just feeling ba- bad ab- about the tweets that were coming at him, but um, he's not wrong, and um, 
you know, you just got to put your foot down or, you know, break up. You knew what you were getting into. And, um, and if know, it's, 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 it's fucked up. But if it's real, if that's his real belief, then I think that is a, a great message to put out. Um, it would be nice to hear more men speak on morals because a lot of men aren't moral. I agree. And, and so I think it's a, a, a good perspective. Like I hear this perspective all the time from you on the, sh the show, but I, I don't think mainstream has heard from men you know, in, in this perspective. So I think it's good that it, that, that perspective is hitting the mainstream. I mean, it, it can come off as possessive, but I don't see him as being a possessive guy, but I know a lot of women are saying that men just want ownership of their woman and blah, 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 and all this stuff. But yeah, that's our woman. Yeah. I, I think it's that's more, correct. you know, it's like, okay, do you want a, a masculine trait or, or energy is, protecting your woman and exactly thank you he's, he's trying to protect her thank you if that's, that's his all rule. that's yeah. all we want all we want to do is protect you and sometimes we sometimes we have to protect you from yourself and and if you don't see that at that time that's fine you're not you're on the on the same level as him you're just not mature enough and you're just you're still out for the streets and that's fine but don't come crawling back when you finally yeah. have an epiphany because we'll be on to the man. next one yeah, exactly like I don't don't let there's no abuse. There's no verbal abuse. You know what I'm saying? Like we ride with Darius. We ride with uh, Jonah Hill. Point don't, bank. Period. Don't let public opinion uh, make you lose a good man. Don't let the sisterhood make woman. you lose a good man. Public opinion. It's everybody. Oh, not say, just you, not you just women. That. Like there's too many things that people make against say men, men versus women. Like it's the that's just the crazy the sisterhood wants to bring other women down to their level because they're single and, and bitter. So they want to bring everybody else. It's mainly the older chicks, hmm. right? They're bitter and older and bitter. They're, they, they don't have kids or they're single mothers They you know, they're, they're out of shape. They want to keep everybody else the same way. No, I don't know about that. They want to but keep you're, you're entitled to your opinion on that, but Thank I don't you. know about that. There's a, there's a whole thing we could we can go into that later. Yeah, it's a whole thing. <laughs> All right, well, you guys know how he is. You know how I am, so but we'll we'll continue this uh, conversation. I'm sure later in some capacity. So, alrighty, don't uh, if you're in a relationship, respect your relationship, please. Adios, however that may look. Okay, bye.